Hi, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to animate objects in Explendio 3.0. EVC 3.0 comes with a new feature that allows you to create really cool looking text animation as well as apply a variety of animations to objects, like the ones you're seeing right now. In this tutorial I will show you how to animate objects. Earlier I created a tutorial on how to animate text in EVC 3.0. If you've watched it before, you may find the first section a bit repetitive. If so, you can click the skip button if you wish to skip this section. In EVC 3.0, most of the animation magic happens in the new timeline. First, I just want to share with you some of the animation scenarios that you will see on the timeline when adding animation. In the first scenario, you only have an object box with a small gray bar it means that there is no animation applied yet. In the second scenario, you have a bigger gray bar and a slider, which means that there is an in animation. In the third scenario, you have two sliders, one for the in animation and one for the out animation. And finally, in the last scenario, you see a gap between the sliders. It means that additional effects have been applied. It could be an animation point or a time delay, which is what I've applied here. Alright, so let's get down to it. Okay, so this is the project file that I've created, and I've got five scenes, as you can see, right up top. In each scene, I have the same object, the EVC logo, but with a different animation. These are the same animations that I showed you earlier in this video. So I'm going to show you how to apply these animations to objects. So when I refer to objects, I'm talking about images, graphics, icons, videos, etc. So let me first create a scene by clicking this button right here. And then I'll add an object. In this case, I'll add a bitmap image, the EVC logo from my computer. This one right here. I'll click Don't Sketch and then Add. And then I'll just increase the size. So you will notice that um, as soon as you add an object in the canvas, it creates an entry here on the timeline. So let me just drop down this arrow or this object box. So by default, you will notice that there is no animation applied for the image. So to apply an animation to the object, you just click on this section right here that says add new effect and then choose animation presets. As you can see there are a whole bunch of uh, animation preset choices here and I'm going to choose the twist, stop and spin, one of the ones that I've used. So let me just close the canvas and you will see a preview of what the animation looks like. And if you click on the object box in the timeline, you will see the preview. Alternatively, you can click the scene preview button and then you will see the preview. Now if you remember the timeline scenarios that I showed you earlier, you will see that there is a gray bar here and a slider for this object. So to increase the duration of the animation, you can extend the slider. So watch this area right here, the canvas, while I extend this. As you can see, the animation is much slower. So if I decrease the slider, you will see the animation is much faster. So essentially, the longer the slider, the slower the animation, and the smaller the slider, the faster the animation. So when we see the preview, you will notice that as soon as the animation is complete, it just stops. So if you want to apply a delay to the object after the animation, you can do that in the Effects tab, which is right here. So if I go to the effects tab, you will see that there is a slider here and I can drag the slider 
and essentially 24 frames equals one second so let me just put say you know two and a half second delay so if I do a preview you will see that the animation happens and then it stops for two two point five seconds so that's how you'd apply a delay or pause uh, you can add another object to the canvas uh, this time let me add an SVG image so let me open the canvas and then I'll click on add sketch image I'll use this clock as you can see it's right there let me just move this here and increase the size and when I go to the timeline and I just drop this down you will see that the default animation is sketch by hand so let me just close the canvas and you will notice that both the animations happen simultaneously let me just do a quick preview as you can see they both animate simultaneously so as you can see here by default objects are placed at the beginning in the timeline like so so if I move this bar for this clock down the timeline like so and then take a preview you will see that the first object that the logo animates first and then after it's done you will see that the clock animates or sketches so essentially if you want the objects to animate simultaneously you will put them together and if you want to animate them in sequence then you will put them sort of in a step format so for each object on the canvas you can add one in animation and one out animation so let me just for example add an out animation to the logo right here so I'll click on this add new effect just below the in animation and then I'll choose the animation presets and then I'll choose fade out you will now notice that there are two sliders for this object here one in animation and one for the out animation so if you want to edit an animation let's just say I do not like the fade out you can click this these two little arrows here double arrows and then essentially just choose go back to the animation presets and choose something else I'll just leave it as is let me just increase the timeline now if you want to duplicate an object let's just say you know this clock you can basically click this icon here so if I click on that you will see that it has created another object on the timeline to delete a particular animation like for example this one right here on the timeline for the clock I've got sketch by hand I can just click this X button and then it just removes the animation then of course I can just click back to add again if I want to and if I want to delete a whole object I can just click on this X button corresponding to that object and it's gone so that's pretty much an overview of the new object animation feature in EVC 3.0. Of course, there's much more to it, but uh, hopefully this gives you kind of a good idea to, to start using this feature. Early in this tutorial, I talked about text animation. You can watch this tutorial to learn more about it. Also, another way of applying animation in EVC is using animation points, like what you're seeing right now. To learn how to use this useful animation feature, you can check this tutorial. I will continue to add more EVC tutorials to my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.